What is up, Pokemon fans? It is Blake Trout, also known as Blake, and it is a great day. You know what? I actually never really got to say. It is a pretty nice day outside. A lot less cold or warm than usual. Pretty lukewarm. I gotta say, though, but season six, is it wild, guys? We're already four weeks end, four weeks done. It, it's been really wild, actually. This is probably my most wild season. I, I, I actually cannot stress this enough. This is the most wild season I've ever experienced. And uh, it's pretty much for the first time. My team's 4-0. Actually, it's all wild. There's only three unbeaten teams left, two teams that are winless that are still going on. So far, the champion is barely a playoff contender. That's something that I did not even expect. So, I thought, why not make an analysis out of the first four? And instead of writing it out, which would take days, like literal days, maybe a week to just do all that, I just put it in video form. It seems faster, and I can just say what I want without having to remember it. So, why not do it that way instead of writing it down every 40 minutes and taking a break just to collect my thoughts? And I guess, you know, we'll just do it based off rankings going from 1 to 18. Although I will give it to you, no one here got an F. I will say they did not get an F. You know, they usually get a grade, and all scores are kind of based off from a score of 1 to 5. 5 being difficult or good or great, to 1 being either easy, terrible, you get the point. So, let's move on and get to this stupid ass video. Woody woo! Okay, so for our first coach, we have the number one team currently, Napy and the Seafold Village Stunfisk. 4 0 with a plus 16 differential. This team actually has been in overall doing very well over the season, and accruing a lot of differential through wins. So far, their weakest win or lowest win was a 3-0 against Scout in Week 4. Opponent strength was around the 3 out of 5. And uh, how I kind of rate that over is that anyone that isn't a playoff contender or a previous playoff contender are ranked from 1 through 3, and playoff contenders are ranked from 3.5 to 5. 3.5 for first round, 4 for second round, and 4.5 and for final, and champion gets 5. And team strength was kind of BS'd around, to be honest, and it's kind of based on how I feel, how strong they are by looking at it. So, you know, Navy's team is pretty hard on, hard offensively. They just It just hits hard, and a lot of teams either could not handle that, or they had to switch around and try to stop them. And at a point where they couldn't stop them, Mega Metagross either crushed them to pieces, or they just, you know, did their thing and could not really stop Kieran Black either. It just really depended on what the opponent could have done. At some point, it was either that they could not stop the defensive cores, or they could just not stop stop the offense from taking over. So, in that point, that's kind of how a lot of teams took their L's. And for team strength, it's actually pretty darn good. You got Kieran Black. You got other stuff, too. It's pretty stupid and annoying to deal with. Oh, there's also his defensive options, Dunfisk and mm, Horygon 2. It's just a disgusting team and a disgusting mess. It's pretty dumb. Pretty darn dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't want to touch it or deal with it this week, but I have to. He also has Togekiss as a nice cleric option, along with Jellicent. He's just got a good offense and defense mixed together. But he also has some cleric, not cleric, but I mean hazarding stuff with Mesprit. Really just depends on what the opponent's going to bring to the table. And uh, I guess his grade's an A. He hasn't lost, and he's won considerably very well. Plus, his next four opponent's strength is going to be around a 3.9, because next week he's got me, and that week after that he's got Troy, then Luke, then Noxtra. So that's going to be a pretty tough time for him, because they're all... Well, sorry. Me, Luke, and Noxtra are top five. And Troy's top eight. So there you go. So it's going to be really tough for him to get a win. I really hope he goes 4-4, four, four, in my opinion. Now, on to the next one. We have our number two team and our second unbeaten team left. Good old-fashioned Cav and the Sunny Shore Surfers. Uh, gosh, he, he did really well. I mean, he's exceeded my expectations time and time again. His opponent strength overall was 3.2. He did have a somewhat a diff difficult amount of opponents, but... Uh, 
he kind of did very well. Uh, team Strength of 4.2. It's a pretty good looking team. Pretty solid. He gets an A for that. Uh, I guess the way he beat Troy was amazing. Just abandoned him for him. I couldn't have thought of that or think that was going to work. Then there is, uh, well, other stuff too. He kind of did really well against Zach. Crits kind of saved him. Uh, he'll probably have an easier time in the next four. I mean, he, he will. I, I'm not going to lie about that. He pretty much will have an easier time. I mean, overall next week he's got, God, I don't know. Week five is against frickin' Jeff. Uh, yeah, he'll win that one. And then week six he'll have, God, who else does he have? I can't look at the schedule. It's like, oh, and he has Joseph? So, all right, he's going to win at least two of those. Sorry, guys, but it's kind of true. And Ken, ooh, that's a tough one. Tough option. And he also has... Freaking Scout? Gosh, he's got two tough... So, I feel like he, at best he might be two and two. So, eventually, I think he might lose sometime in this next four. Might be uh, less likely, but I think it's pretty likely for week seven and eight. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. And, uh, supposedly, he's doing a pretty good job, so that's why he's got an A. He hasn't lost yet, even though coming off the, uh, forfeit win against Zack, slash Ben, he's doing fine. Yay, we get to go on to my team! Hooray! I'm actually kind of excited to talk about my team. Alright, well, let's be honest here. Doing way better than I ever expected. 4-0, unbeaten in the top of the Skull Division. Kind of something I've never done before. I've never had the lead in the division before. You know, this is like the second season we did it, but seriously, like, the way Melly Melly was structured, it was so dumb. I would time those two the entire time because they had much higher differentials than I did. And it's the same issue with me in the top three. Higher differentials than I did because I don't win hard enough. Or win more enough. So, you know. It's like that, and that's the only issue and problem that I have. But it doesn't really matter. Opponent strength was pretty considerable. I had Mac, but forfeit win, and Matrix was really my worst possible matchup uh, during my first four. I'm thinking, like, how am I going to beat Matrix with this with the team he has? And I somehow pulled through and got a 1-0, so I ain't thinking about it. Then I had Cold and Darby, former playoff contenders. That's something I did not really want, but I beat Cold 3-0, and to be honest, against Cold, he really was, it was like the first time I ever had full control of a game. That I felt that I had full control. I thought, oh god, I'm losing, I'm losing here. Oh god, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. No, I had felt completely comfortable in the entire match at a point. Like, I think 10 turns in, I felt like I had complete control of the game. And against Darby, it was pretty scary. It looked like it was going to be the same thing going on, but then he just came back on me. Almost reversed me back, but I won out thanks to a crit earthquake from Drapion. And of course, I'm going to give myself an A. I gave myself a B last season. Or B+. Plus. But this is good. I am 100% okay with what I have. And my next four is going to be the one I might lose one in. Because I got Napy, who's number one in the league. I got Luke, who's trailing right behind me. But if he, if I lose to the Napy and he wins, he basically takes over. And I got Hunter. That's not going to be easy either. He, I also got Troy. I, I've only beaten one time out of five or six occasions. So, so far in this league, I mean. So... Really, I don't know. At worst, I expect myself to be either losing all four or, at best, winning... Actually, no, screw it. At worst, I'm going to probably win at least one game. But best, maybe three out of four. I don't know. I just really think that if I can win week five, I have no worries for the next couple of weeks. And heck, if I can win eight games before I lose three or four, I'm basically set. I f I'm fine. 100%. But I guess that's really all I want to say. I really like to get on to the next one. Next coach. All right, so getting to the next player, the next coach is Luke and the Evergrade Electros, three and one with a plus eight diff. With a, an opponent's strength of three. I mean, for what he had, he had Scott Troy first round or first week. That is something that I would call very disorienting or discouraging, discouraging. And, I mean, he almost had him. He, he lost. <laughs> he got reversed at 6-0'd. And that's how it went. Reverse swept. I mean, that sucks. But, hey, it's chill. But, week two, he did bring it back. Beat Jeff. Uh, no, he did not. He beat Ben? Yeah. With giving Weezing four kills. That makes him an official legend right now. I, I, I can't even stress how amazing that is. 
but it doesn't matter. He went against Cold, week four, beat his booty. Went against, I think, Jeff, and beat his booty. Yes, he did. So, you know, he got the victory, 3-1 and one with the plus 8. So he's on a three-game winning streak. So compared to every other team that's on here in the top four, they all are coming off of really good winning streaks during these first four. Well, actually, sorry, one of five. So he gets an A-minus for that. And his opponent's rank is a little tiny bit stronger. Uh, week five, he pretty much gets Mac. Then he gets me, week six. Then week seven, he gets Napy. Oh, God. And week eight, he gets Jimmy. So, you know, he'll have a bit of a tough time, but I think he'll pull through. At best, he might win three of four. That's all I'm saying. Three of four, two of four at best. Worst case, he does lose three out of those four, but best case, two or three wins. Don't know, but I don't really see him winning all four, but, you know, it's whatever. So let's please move on to the next coach, because I'm getting kind of sleepy, and I need some. Failure Town A-Poms, or Noxtra. With a pretty good opponent strength of 2.6, he kind of had a pretty easy seat, pretty easy beginning, and a really decent team. I mean, he lost a not, but he did lose to Matrix in the beginning, but that's fine. It happens. But, yeah, because he missed that Zen headbutt. And not only that, he also comes up with a three-game winning streak, which is pretty awesome, just like what Luke did. But not in the cleanest of fashions. He made a huge comeback win against Zack, and a very commanding victory against Mac with the wa Rain Dance. I'm sorry, what was it called? Z Rain Dance? Yeah, the Z Rain Dance Pre Marina. That's just wrong. So many levels. Not only that, Darby versus. Nah, I'm kidding. He isn't playing Darby yet. But he played against uh, Joseph. Handled him pretty well. Crossing him left and right. So he did a pretty decent job. He gets a B. Plus. But his opponent's strength can be much more difficult than that. I don't know why I said it that way. That was so dumb. Yeah, so he... <laughs> so it's going to be much more difficult. 3.3 .3 out of 5. It's a bit more difficult than he would even be used to. I mean, he's got Napy Week 7. My apologies. Week 8. Week 7, he's got Scout. Week 6, he's got friggin' Kenneth. Oh, God, he's got tough games all around. Well, who's he got week five? Ben. All right, so he'll win. At, yeah, of course he'll lose three of those four. And at best, I only see him winning two. So, you know. Let's see how Noxtra does. If he sucks, he sucks. If he does good, he does good. I mean, that's kind of how Noxtra goes right now. Let's get on to team number six. God, we're not even halfway through this. Oh. It's a uh, scout. Uh, former unbeaten team that just lost last week. So she's coming off a winning streak becoming a losing streak. With an opponent's strength of 3.8, she pretty much had the most difficult season compared to everybody else. I mean, she got Darby week one, then she got freaking Kenneth week two, and not only that, she also got freaking Troy week three. He had, she had three straight weeks of tough games. She did. And with such a low team strength, she has, I think, the lowest team strength of the entire league right now, 2.9. But still wins three of those four matches, especially against Troy. And only lost to Mate Napy. That's it. And compared to that, she'll have an easier time, so I feel like she might roll them all over. Let me see. Yeah, Scout's gonna roll over all these guys. Yep, yeah, she's rolling over all of them. I ain't even worried. She's gonna go 4-0 in this one. She's gonna sweep. But that doesn't really matter. At this point, she gets an A- minus because she did great with what she's got. So, that's something I can say I'm really proud of her with. Plus, you know, she's in the top six, so she's still in playoff contention really well. Which I am very happy about. Next coach. It's Jimmy and the Anastar Aromatis. A new coach with a 3-1 plus 2 record. He's actually doing way better than I expected. I mean, out of... Uh, Losing one game, he just wins two in a row. He's got this really crazy knack of using Trick Room, which I, I I really wanted to do once, but I'm like, I don't feel like doing that. That's too much work. His opponent strength was also pretty late, pretty tame. I mean, he had a decent first four to go for and try to win with. 
I mean, he beat Ken in the most amazing battle of, I think, of PCBL history in general. That was so amazing. He also got a win against, I guess, God, I forgot his name. Darby. Oh, wait, he lost that one. Okay, it's okay, he lost that one, it's fine. But he beat Hunter really well, and he also beat, uh... uh oh, God, I don't know the names. Oh, God, he beat Ben. There we go. Uh, so, you know, he's doing pretty well. Seventh place is pretty nice, right? I mean, compared to a lot of teams, that's pretty much better. You're still doing better than Troy, and that's hilarious. With a B-plus grade. With some semi-decent team strength, it's not that, I mean, it's not bad, it's average. And, uh, his opponent's strength is going to be a little bit more difficult. I mean, his next four is kind of interesting. I mean, he's got Zack. I don't know what to say about that. I really want Zack to win that one. And then he's got freaking Jeff. Don't know how that's going to go. I think he'll win that one, to be honest. Sorry, Jeff. And against... Cold? I don't know how to feel about that one, so whatever happens, happens there. And against Luke. Oh, Lord, never mind. Uh, you might have to put your rings up, Luke. Jimmy might win this one. Nah, he's got it, I think. I don't know. But that's pretty much all I really wanted to say. He'll probably have a better time, at best, maybe 2-2. Two and two. And that's still pretty good. That'll make him 5-3. and three. You know, whatevs. On to the next coach. Ah, here it is, Mr. Previous PCBL5 Champion Troy, 8th in the league. Yes, he's barely in playoff contention. Barely a playoff contender. I mean, his opponent's strength was considerably the same as mine, strength-wise. But frickin' team strength was the highest out of them all, 4.9. I mean, this team is the most ridiculously balanced thing I've ever seen. It's like, this is stuff I expect Troy to have, but this is the highest caliber. And what happens? I mean, he reverse, he reverse sweeps Luke, loses to Cab, loses to Scout. My god, at first I've ever seen him with a losing record. But I mean, he crushed Zack, so that's something, but you know, that's how that rivalry goes. But hey, it doesn't matter. His opponent's strength is exactly the same, and he's got me week eight. <laughs> and he's got Darby. That seems like a win he can get. At best, he might sweep, or at best, actually, screw it, he might only win two at best. He's got Napy too, and he's got frickin' Mac. Never mind, yeah, two at best. One or three, two or three at best. That's all I see. So, you know, it's whatever. But this is the first time I've seen him go off the first four with a losing record. He's either 4-0 at this point or 4-0. I, I can't stress how crazy this is. It's making me lose my mind. He's not unbeaten. He lost two straight. I'm doing better than he is. And that's crazy. It's like a great-ass feeling. Oh, man. Let's just go on to the next coach before I lose it. Okay, so coach number 9, or number 9 team, is Darby and the 3-1 and one plus 2 Snowpoint Slashers. I screwed up here. He's actually two and two, plus two. Hmm. Well, his team strength is pretty good. Opponent strength is about 3.5. He had a pretty difficult run. I mean, uh, he had Scout off the bat. Then he had Jimmy. Then he had Matrix. Then he had me. What do you know? He gets a B. He did pretty overall pretty well. I mean. Out of losing the first one, he won two in a row and then lost to me. So he has a better winning streak than a losing streak, so he gets a B there. Plus he has a much easier couple of weeks coming along. Problem is he's got Troy, but Darby's got Hunter, and Darby's got Ben, Ben, Jeff. So I think he can win three out of four, no problem with this. So he'll come back up and be five and three or something. Hmm, I'm saying a lot of things being five and three. But I don't see that as a guarantee of me being right. And really, that's all I kind of want to say. I'm going to go on to Colts. Yay, Mr. Rookie Coach of the Year. Dude's got me scared. Got the whole HBL scared last season. I beat his booty. Yep, and Luke beat his butt too. He came off a two-game winning streak with a two-game losing streak afterwards. With an opponent's strength of three and a half. He did have a pretty tough team. But his team strength seemed kind of generic. He had generic stuff that is like, I could call this out easy. So he gets a B minus. 
And his opponent's strength will be much easier. He gets Joseph in the first part of the set next four. That's an easy win, I guess. Maybe. I'm not going to say easy win. I'm, I'm sorry, Nate, Joseph. I can't lie about that. Eh, but he has Scout, and that's a problem. He's got Jimmy, and I don't know how to call that. Um, oh, come on. Really? I have to wait. Live chat going on right now. At least I'm past the halfway point here. I'm almost done, actually. Let's... Oh, wait. I have to keep this professional. <clears throat> yeah. And then week seven, he's got basically Jimmy, then Matrix. So I feel that he can win two out of four of these. So at best, he might be four and four. Maybe five and three. Really depends. So let's get on to the next coach here. So we have our 12th place coach here, Matrix and the Saffron Shuppets with a 1 and 3 minus 5 record. Opponent strength is a 3.8 with a 4.3 with a grade is a C. Uh, to be honest, Matrix definitely had a tough time. I will give him that. I mean, he had me, had, uh, gosh, he had freaking Knox in the beginning. He also had, I think, Mac and then Darby. Those are, those are not easy. No, no, that was Knox. He actually had, uh, Darby. Yeah, Darby then... Hunter. So he had two. He had three playoff contenders, three pe previous playoff contenders to play against. That that was not an easy task, and he went on a three-game losing streak. Uh, so far, I think he's kind of doing all right, and his team is not really bad. It's pretty good pickup stuff, but he made some trades, and I kind of do have something to say about the Mantine drop. The Mantine drop was not my favorite idea, but it's whatever. He picked up Guzzlord. He knows how to use it, so maybe we'll see some wins come up. Although the Ninetales trade was actually very smart. I'd rather use the Ninetales than that, whatever you call that thing, a Turtonator, to be honest. Yeah, you get Instant Sun, you also get Calm Mind. Yep, you're going to get some wins, kid. You're going to get some wins. So, next of four opponent strings is going to be a 2.4. He'll have a much easier time picking up and accruing wins. He's got Kenneth, but that's still not going to be an easy match. He's tricky. Uh, there's... I guess Ben, I, he should get a good game out of that one. Then Jeff, that's another. No, screw it, he's got Jeff. He's fine, he's fine. Then I suppose he also has, gosh darn diggity dang, cold. Ooh, wait, that's gonna be a hard one for him, but yeah. I think he can get at least maybe, at best, three out of four of these. And at worst, he'll get at least one. So, that's kind of how I see it. On to the next one. Ah, the special Kennethy 11th place coacher. Kenneth with a 1 and 3 record and a minus 1 diff. With an opponent strength of 2.8. With a very odd team strength. Well, 3. But he did decently well with what he had, I guess. But only after coming off a 3 game losing streak. But he did have some difficult cho options. He had Napy in week 2. He had, I'm oh, sorry, Napy in week 3. Then he had Scout, which is a really close game. So two games ended in like a freaking 1-0. So he did way better than any of the one and threes we have here. He's pretty much the best one and three coach we got so far throughout this one. And I was supposed to be thinking that, oh, his team ideas suck. No, he got a 6-0 sweep with Fionn. Fione? Fion. One of those two names. He got a sweep with it. More kills than Ma Manaphy. More kills than Heatran. I mean, second place, well, now third place in kills. It's wild. I didn't even think that could happen. So, that's amazing. So, good on Kenneth. And his next four are going to be a little bit more difficult. He does have Matrix. I don't know if he is going to win that or not. It's a tricky game to call. He's got Nox. That's another tough one. He also has Cav. That's a very, very tough one. Then week eight, he's got good old-fashioned Zach. My god, these are going to be some tough games for him. I don't know if he can win these or not. I feel like he could sweep, but I also feel like he can get swept. That's how I kind of see it. So, you know, Kenneth, you're doing a decent job, so keep it up. Here we go. The team favorite, Potown Flyers and Hunter. One and three with a minus seven diff. Opponent strength is a 2.8 out of 5, and team strength is very high, because he picked a pretty fire team for what he had. But I gave him a C- minus on the fact that he lost three straight games in the beginning. He lost to Napy first off, then I 
suppose next. He also lost to Mac in a 1-0. And he also lost to... God, I forgot his name already. Jimmy. <laughs> in a really crazy reverse finisher. So, yeah. I mean, he got the win against Matrix. But, you know. Once again, that's another 1-0 game. Decided by just... A miss. So you know, he's doing semi bad, and I really want him to do really well. And he's a playoff contender for crap's sake, but now he's kind of dropped into 13th place. So it's still early, and I feel like he still has a decent chance. I mean, his first four is gonna, next four is gonna be really ridiculous. He he's got a, he's gonna have a really hard time. He's got me in week seven. He's got Scout week five. He's got freaking uh... oh god, he has Darby. He's got nothing but playoff contenders, except for Ben. So he might win one of these games, maybe. But he might screw out, screw up and lose everything else. I don't know. But he's going against three playoff contenders. That's actually something that I could not expect that. That's crazy. Jesus. Well, Gunner, good luck with that. Next coach is Jeff in the Flatterberg Blossoms. With the opponent strength of 2.9 and a team strength of 2.7. 1 and 3 minus 9 is crap. Another one in three coach. Another one in three team. I don't like his team. He's, that's why he's got the lowest team strength out of all, where he gets like a bunch of OUs and has nothing. Nothing but PU Pokemon. I suppose. So far, I'm looking at it, his team is not fire. It's pretty backwash. I mean, him beating Joseph was a given. But then I guess, uh,. Everything else, he kind of lost because he kind of lost. And getting 6 0 by Kenneth in the end? Did not see that coming. No, I really didn't see that coming, I swear. I actually not being condescending here. I did, really did not see that coming. Or sarcastic? Yeah. But still, that was wild. He needs to fix his team up. I mean, his next four is going to be a bit of a nasty deal. He's got Jet Cab Week 5. He's got freaking Jimmy Week 6. Matrix week seven and Darby week eight. So to be honest, I don't think he's he's gonna win any more of these either. He might lose a few more in a row, but I don't know. I feel like he might be like one in five, and then he'll win week seven somehow and be two and five. But that's all I see it as, and pretty much he'll probably win the game or not. He might get swept out, and I I really don't know what's gonna happen there. I mean, he has like these Pokemon that could work, but it's just no, he doesn't. It doesn't work with that, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter. And here we go. We got Bennett. 1 and 3 minus 10 diff with an opponent strength of 2.6 and a team strength of 4. He gets a D. Well, he had a really good team. He just doesn't know how to use it. That's, that's fine, I guess. I, I kind of call it the Joseph situation right there. With a D. I mean, you know, it's not quite too bad. But he got a win, which I really do. I really am happy about him beating, uh, God, him beating Joseph was pretty much something I did not expect to happen. But hey, it happened. I think to make things much more weird, or strange, or awkward, is that he had to come in at week two after Zach just said fucking and left. Which is fine, I don't see anything wrong with that, as long as he got a replacement. So, I don't know if that's what it is. Well, if not, I don't know. His team is kind of scary. So he doesn't have to use it. Still, you know, yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. His next four is going to be kind of nastier than this. He had an easy first four, but he could only get one win out of it. I mean, god dang, he's got Nox. He's got Matrix. He's got frickin' uh, Darby. Frickin' Hunter. He might lose all those. He might win them. I don't know. So we're just going to move on to the next coach before I say something I'm going to regret. So yeah. Uh, Team's 14th place or 15th place. Yep, 15th place. Yeah. Next coach, please. I don't want to talk to this. I don't want to talk about this coach. I don't want to talk about it. Doesn't play me, he takes the L. Opponent strength is going to be the same as next four. Team strength through the uh, Kidding. Stupid team. Four. Okay, so I'm over my weird bit right there. So Mac is uh, Mac and Cheese. One and three and minus fourteen. 
Yeah, he lost a lot in dip. But it's kill. No, it's not. John only does it actually got a win, but is going through a losing streak. Um, the process. I mean, his next board is going to be kind of weird. He's got Luke. He's got, oh, Zach too. Oh, God. He's also got, uh, Troy and... Oh, he's getting swept. I, 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 I can't stress this enough. Oh, no, no, no. He's got Joseph. He'll win one out of four, I think. Maybe. I actually don't care anymore. Let's go to the next coach. I'm about to roast him right now. I swear to God! Whew, okay. Next coach is Joseph, and we're basically seeing him in the 17th place. 0-4-13 with a team opponent strength of 2. I'm not joking. I think he had the easiest first 4 out of everybody else. But could not get a win. Well, I, I, don't, I don't really know what to say about that. Uh, gets Jeff. Uh, he kind of had a chance, but Jeff just up on, upended him. Uh, Napy was just too much for him, I guess. And What was week 3? Oh, yeah, he had Ben. He had that game. Had it. Let stuff die that shouldn't have died, and just did not play smart. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's like this is like the same crud we see in season four. But what do you expect? He doesn't really play this game that much, anyways. To be honest, I think uh, uh, maybe. I don't know what else to say. I, I keep saying he's gonna improve, might have a breakout season, and just I get I get hit in the face and say no. I, I'm just done. Uh, yeah. And I guess, and I guess against Nox, he, I don't know, his losses aren't getting like ridiculously bad. So he's improving on that part. Heck, his next five, four, next four, he's got Cold, and then he's got Cav, and then he's got Zach, and then he's got Mac. You can win two of those, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Up to him. Please win, please, please win these games. I want something good to say about you. Come on! Please! Please! Ho oh, ho! Ain't this something funny? Ain't this something funny? The man that beat me last season. Semi-finals. Yeah, so, it's Zach. 0-4 uh, oh minus 14, last place under Joseph. Okay, that's cool. Opponent strength 3.6 with a 3.7 team strength. C minus. And the reason why I say that is that he should have at least won half these games. <clears throat> he lost to Cold. Well, that's be kind of darn it. He lost to. <clears throat> yeah, he lost to Knox. He got reversed. He was up 4 to 1, missed that Draco over. Then Knox versus Matrix. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, he goes against Cav and gets 0 and 5, gets 5 0'd. And he goes against frickin' Troy and gets 5 0'd. So it was bad. Real bad. I, he, he probably has like the slowest. No, he. I, it's just so bad. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. I mean, you know, it's kind of like when you have someone who's a contender and he's already on 4, but he, he had a very. Wait, I think he had the hardest uh, opponent strength. No. I think. I think he did, didn't he? He either did or he's like top three, but he had a pretty tough one. He had freaking two playoff contenders, and he also had Knox and the and Cap, who just can't lose for some reason. I mean, that's kind of how it is. So, I think he's fine. I mean, best case scenario. Next four looks pretty much way easier, so he might sweep and win all four of them. I mean, uh, I mean, he's got freaking uh, Jimmy. Oh, uh, okay, I don't know if he's gonna win that one. And he's got uh, Zip Mac. And, okay, I don't know if he's gonna win that one either. Uh, he's also got um, he has um, he's got something. I don't know anymore. I think he got Joseph. Yeah, he'll win that one. And... Kenneth. Yeah, he's fine. He'll win three out of four, no problem. Maybe all four. I'm really unsure about Jimmy versus Zach, and I'm really unsure about... That's it. I mean, if he beats Jimmy week five, then he's gonna sweep and be four and four. That's how I see it. 
so you know, it's not all the way over yet. There's still eight weeks to change something. Okay, well, that's great. I'm gonna call this the end of the first four analysis. So far, I'm very surprised with all the results so far. So far. Ending so far. What the heck is that? Whatever. Back at it again. I'm going to say one more time. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will do a next four of analysis sometime in the near future, or far future, in the next month, I guess. Then the final four is going to be very late. I guess. Maybe. I don't know, it's gonna be a piece of cake. But, otherwise, it's gonna be kinda crazy, and I guess the only meme I can say is LeBron James. That's the only meme I got to say for this entire first four. <clears throat> LeBron James. Now, when I also think about it, really, it's not over yet. There's still eight games left. So you have to go out in there, win the game, and do your best. Because seriously, anybody here that's 4-0, you probably need to win three or four more games and you're basically set for the playoffs. Three and ones, same thing pretty much. And I guess the two and twos just win your game and you'll be fine. Anybody that has a losing record right now, it ain't really over yet. And to be honest, uh, what? Losing records is like nine of you, or eight of you. And at that point, just, it'll take some time for you. Beat the two and twos, beat the higher ups, and you'll be fine. That's all I can say. Alright, good night and have a pleasant tomorrow, people.